Hey guys, good morning. It's Dave Santarelli from Breaking Chart Alerts, Santarelli Trading Exchange and Stock Options Trading Academy. We're having a really nice day uh, here. Futures are up big. We got opening bell in about two minutes. Dow's up about 125 points right now and NASDAQ is up 220 points. Huge day for Qs here. As you guys can see, take a look at the Qs here. So as you guys can see, Qs, we had a big pullback as they were debating about the stimulus through the House, through the Senate. We finally passed the COVID bill. And what did I tell you guys? I told you guys once we pass this, I thought we were going to have a big rally. And yesterday, more specifically, I told you guys that I thought the NASDAQ was going to rally today, pick up. Because yesterday we saw the Dow up 500 and some points. And NASDAQ was only up like 30 points there. So I felt that the uh, NASDAQ was going to have a nice rally here. We did. And as you guys can see, we're holding above that 310. We're holding above that 10-day simple moving average. Now what I want to see on Qs here is a break above that 320. We get a nice break above that 320. We're going to head to that next resistance level at about 330. So NASDAQ is up about 220 points right now. Dow's, uh, Dow's up about 130. And if you could take a look here at... Take a look at Apple. Apple shares are getting a really nice climb higher here. Apple's coming off the lows here, looking good. Uh, coming off of 120, 122.36. Once we get that first candle above 125, I'm gonna be adding much more to the Apple trade here. We got quite a big trade on Apple the way it is. Let me open up E-Trade here for the main account. Here we go, guys. A few seconds until opening bell. Let's give it about 10, 15 minutes. We got some really nice gains. Here we go. Big gains on our Apple trade here, guys. Our Apple trade is now up $600 for the day. 22% return on Apple. Guys, I'm going to sell to close the Apple trade here. We got a nice gain on that. I'm going to lock that up. Let's see, five contracts, sell to close. We'll see if that gets executed at that 3.3. She's at 320 by 3.25. Now let me just adjust that order status, live, change. There we go. There goes Apple. Nice break out there. There we go. She completed at 310. She's already executed. Or I'm sorry, 320 we're out at. So we are out of the Apple at 320. The only reason why I got out of this Apple trade here is because it was for the March 19th Expo. I'm going to use those funds and uh, look for another trade on Apple. So close that out for a nice gain there. Out of Apple, 3.20. What is going on here? E-Trade's been screwy all day. Here we go. All righty. Well, we got another $2,100 gain in the main account here today. Here is the main account, guys. We just locked in that 400 bucks on Apple. Now here is our main account. And as you guys can see, Visa, we're up 387.50. Trivago up 300. Sundial, 44.50. Microsoft up 710 bucks today. Still a little right on that though. FedEx trade is continuing to climb, guys. We're looking good on FedEx. Let's see where she's at now. She was at uh, 264 in pre-market, and right now she is at. She blends in on my watch list so well. There we go. 264.32. Wow, that's a nice break out there. 
If we see that FedEx above 270, we're gonna have a $7,000 net payday on that FedEx vertical spread right here that you guys see. This is a vertical spread, plus 50, minus 50. Apple's still on the climb there. Watch it out of the background. <clears throat> There's some other ones that didn't even open yet, like Delta, Disney, Express. Here we go. Now we were up $2,067. Now that we gave the market a couple minutes here, now we're up about $3,000. That's a nice gain right there, $2,800. And that is from Disney being up 537 today. FedEx is moving nicely. Our Microsoft trades continuing to climb. Sundial continuing to climb. Travago continuing to climb. And Visa, of course. We are looking good here. Just letting that continue to climb. Let it go. We were up 2,800. Now we are up 3,300. Nice continued breakout here, guys. VZ's pulling back, though. I, I think I'm going to have to unleash that one in the uh, trade challenge account there, 5640. Now up almost 3,300 bucks here. $3,270. And that is just from the trades that we're currently in. Now I want to look at some trade setups. Apple's continuing to climb three month daily here. Look at that chart on Apple. So now what I want to do is get a little bit of a longer term trade on Apple, not longer, longer term. VLO, Valero completes Memphis, Tennessee, refinery restart. Let's see here. Victor Lima, Oscar. Visa's at 226, guys. You guys see Visa? Look at Visa taking off there. 225.46 continuing to break higher. That is looking good. All right, I'm going to sell to close the Verizon trade now. That's not really doing anything. Let's see here, VZ, March 12th, we have the 58 call. So it close and we are out of those at six cents, guys. Six cents or was it seven? Order status, we're out at seven cents on the Verizon, we got out. Seven cents out of Verizon. Let's see what BP's doing here. BP's looking good. We'll let that continue to run. TR, I agree with you there. You know, Apple, it depends on what expiration you have. If you have March 19th, you know, look for that 125 ish area. Anything. Um, Anything less than March nineteenth, obviously you gotta you gotta watch. The option premiums are decaying if you're out of the money on those strikes. But I mean, Apple looks prime here for a nice climb over the next few few weeks here. Let's take a look at the option chain and analyze it. So if we think Apple is going to head back up to resistance, let's say we think she's going back up to about one thirty, okay? 130 over the next two months. Let's give it enough time, plenty of time, okay? So March, April, May, right? That would take us out to May. Let's see what these strikes are going for. Let's put on here columns. Let's put Delta and Theta. All right. So if we get a 15 point climb up to 330, let's see, 15, multiply that by a delta of, let's say the 317s for May 21st here. Let me get up the annotation so you guys could actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm looking at this May 21st, 2020 on, oh, let me change this to Apple. May 21st, 2020. And 
Let's see, Apple, we're gonna look at the 125 call here, right? 125 call. It's going for about $6.50, right? $6.68. Okay, so now if we have a eight point climb here to that 130, right? Here's gonna be our target resistance, 130. T-A-R-G-E-T -E at 130. So 130, one, 130 minus 122 equals eight. So eight, multiply that six, by a delta. Six eight times expected. delta equals, delta in this case is, what do we say? 0.49 LGBN long Jevron halted on a circuit. Okay, breaker. so eight Magal times 0.49 that means 3.92. So this I is going to increase in value by three dollars and 92 cents for that expo, uh, right? By the FDA so 3.92 plus 6.67 plastic left part is 10.59. 10.59, if you picked it up for 6.67 as the entry, that means divide that by 6.67. That's a 59% return if you calculate. Now that's without taking away theta. Now let's take away some theta here. This is time decay. So let's just say it takes, uh, let's say it takes uh, 10 days to get up there, 10 trading days, okay? So 10 trading days, multiply that by a theta of 0 .5, 0 0.055, 0 0.055, multiply that by 10. That means that'll lose 55 cents. So out of that 10.59 over here, now we got a minus theta. Minus theta of 0.55 cents. So now this comes down to 10.04. So 10.04, so see how you could actually calculate with the options here. If Apple gets up to that 130, what type of profit are we gonna be looking for? 10.04, divide that by 6.67. We're gonna be looking for about a 51% return if we pick up this Apple call, the 125 call. So if you pick up that 125 strike call right now on Apple, and she gets up to 130 in the next 10 days, you know, you're gonna be looking at a 51% return. So now you, what you gotta ask yourself, okay, if I do it in the Trade Challenge account, we got about $10,500 in the Trade Challenge account, right? So if I wanted to get up to, you know, let's say 12,500, what do I have to do? Well, obviously I'd have to make about a $5,000 trade, right? So a $4,500 trade on Apple, for the May 21st Expo, if that, su ADR, if that succeeds and gets FCC up to that 130, then we'll see the trade challenge account right around 12,500 to 13,000. You know, and I think that could happen quick here because we're just starting to see a cycle change on Apple. So I'm gonna continue to watch Apple here because if we want a nice little swing trade, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do it with Apple. Because the nice thing about it is if you see our resistance, here's our resistance area on Apple, right? Resistance at 130. So if we're going to continue this climb up to that 130 with options, we could take the delta, we could take the theta, and we could pinpoint what that price is going to be worth at that specific price. So Apple's definitely one I want to keep an eye on. And right now I'm going to put Apple on my... <sighs> I call it like a bullpen watch list. These are the ones that are up up on deck. So AAPL, that one's on deck there. I got the main watch list, but then we also have the, uh, the close one that we're really watching for that move there. All right, let me erase this, clear out. All righty. So that was a perfect example of Apple, how we could pick up that 125 call there and really take advantage of that move up to that 125. Alrighty, let's go down the watch list here, see if we see anything good, anything interesting moving. Disney 196.33. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. So take a look, this is extremely important right here. So take a look, see how we were up $3,270? I want you guys to see this. Do you guys see that in the trade room? You guys see that, $3,270 there.
Let me know when you see it. Okay, you see it. Now, guess what? Now, just analyzing, see how we were up $3,270? Take a look. It's important. Well, I just analyzed one stock with you on Apple, right? Take a look at what we're up now. Just letting the market do its thing. We are now up $6,475 here for the day there. We're getting a really nice move here, team. Love what I'm seeing. Let's see. I really want to see Disney take another move higher here. Let's see. FedEx is at 277, guy, or 267. You guys see FedEx? AODK, Look at FedEx, King, guys. Yeah, Target on I spread for Max Gaines. 270. We're almost there. Point. We're in the breakout momentum. Getting up to that, too. That FedEx trade is going to make us $7,700 net profit. Who's in that FedEx trade? EMBR, That's what I want to know. Getting a pop here, two dollars. Who the heck's in that FedEx trade? Because that's that's gonna make us a massive gain there. Getting some. <clears throat> we got another two thousand dollars to go on that FedEx trade, so almost there. But that is see how we see how we analyze our trades. We look for our targets. If you guys are just patient and disciplined, have the enough discipline to wait till you reach a target like me NTX perfect example i'm a perfect a example of how not to do it this past NTX. week actually the past three weeks i've been taking profits way too early after the company announcing the account should be much higher than it is right now but i've been taking profits way too early i've been targeting those 50 to you know 70 percent gains meanwhile if i held on to those trades you know, by our expo or a few days later, we'd be up two, three hundred percent. Dwight, the nice thing about that FedEx trade was it was only ninety six or ninety seven cents a contract to be worth uh, what two fifty. So that was a really nice setup that we found on FedEx there. Let's see what's Visa doing two twenty four thirty seven. That had a big pullback from the highs there, huh? Let's see, Visa. Visa's still climbing, looking good there. You know what I really want to do, though, is close some of these trades out. Love that FedEx chart there. CANG, Kango Board, approving a $1 special dividend. Charlie out for November. Oh. That is a heck of a nice day there. Rocket Still company, watching Visa in the CEO, background here. Let's Jay see Bonner NVIDIA. Market's now, pulling back from the Kango. highs a little bit.
RKT Rocket Company shares moving 2760 now again the CEO on Rocket uh, RKT is moving now. again Romeo Kilo Tango remember that one oh look at that chart setup guys how it's following that 10 day simple moving average now that looks incredible that's one I think I want to do another trade on. Maybe going out to that June Expo like we did last time when we made that, what was it, 200% gain? Or Let's see here, April, May, June. What'd they do, have a stock split already? 24.89, the heck is that? see here I really want to look at XL's having a nice move here too I report now that Iceland has suspended use of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine Wow Oxford now or I, I'm sorry what would they just say the FRX contract awarded 9.7 million dollar HHS research and development contract to develop extra base for the treatment uh, bloodstream infections, that's Charlie Fox, Trump, Romeo, X-ray, CFRX. You guys heard that news on AstraZeneca, right? Let's see if there's anything moving on that. AZN. We're already in the airlines. Airlines are looking good. DAL, let's see. 
Avilio, you're going to start selling some covered calls against your share. Who has the shares? I think it's Karen that has the, uh, what does she have? 10,000 shares of American Airlines? AAL? DAL Airlines are looking great as we were talking about them continuing to break out there. There's a contrafact at a high of 566 now at 533. And there you go, Iceland. Award Greenland, Iceland. They're all cold places, all the same to me. Let's see, Boeing, high of the day, BA. Look at that break on them. She's going to 300, guys. There's no question about it. She's going to be running for that 300 easily. She's going to get there, too, really quick. Big break out there. One sec, guys. Let's see Exxon Mobil high of the day. XOM. Look at Exxon Mobil go. BP's on the run here too, guys. Our BP trade. I'd like to see that turn green. Look at BP there, guys. BP's having another nice breakout. Look at BP continuing to break out here. Verizon was dead. So all we got now is the one trade in the Trade Challenge account. That's the BP. And uh, AstraZeneca, uh, Iceland has suspended use of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Also, Denmark and Italy uh, reports of potential. Let's see, blood Apple. Blood did we sell at the top there, Honka? With the wow, we did. That's a nice AGM. sell there this morning. What time did I sell that Apple trade out? Let's see, order status. Coming up, the Jolt's job opening. Nine thirty-one. So, yeah, I should have sold it. A couple of candles higher there. Million. But that's coming up at 10 a.m. in two minutes. Just continuing to pull back here since uh, the highs. Let's see. Avilio said he's up 20% on GM calls. Nice. She's breaking out nicely now. Up about 0.5% starting that run. She's starting to look good there. Look for that 57.50. Another Letter quick 40 cent climb. Hotel. Let's see, Tyler says CCL's on the I, run. Our BP trade is moving here too. To nice hotel move on BP. Keys under various high brands in Thailand. That letter H. Visa back up to 226.
<clears throat> Let's see, you guys see anything moving here? Let's go on the watch this PayPal. S&P futures popping 3931. Look at Boeing still on the run. Visa 226.10. Coming up, Jolt's job openings. FedEx. Guys, who's in the FedEx trade? I really want to know. Because you guys should be having a huge day on that FedEx trade. I don't know if just nobody got into the FedEx trade because it's a spread. Or if you guys are just keeping silent there. Carson's in FedEx. Skyjack's in FedEx. Nice. Nice, Zach. All right, let's take a look here. AAPL. Joe's job see. opening, 6.917 She's million. on the rise here. Definitely a nice time to jump in. The estimate was 6.6 .6 million. All right, I'm going to jump That's into that trade we were talking things. about, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, April Expo. Hoka announcing new collaboration with this. Yeah, we'll go with the May. That. That's D-E-C-K. That's pretty cheap there. Now, let's see. I'll do the March or the April Expo for now then. Just give us a little bit more. That's cheap, 510, 505. ENT, Buffalo contracts. Wild Wings, and Bet MGM Lux exclusive sports betting experience. That's ENT and MGM. Did not fill yet, 505. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see. Alrighty, we are in. Apple, new trade, guys. Let me post it That's here. Right. MGM, not ENT. Just M April 16th, 122.50. Call at. We're in at 5.06. We got executed 5.06. Order status, and here you go, guys. So we are in five contracts, April, Apple, April 16th, 122.50 call. We are in at 5.06. And we're going to be holding on to that. It's not a day trade. That's a swing trade. So we'll just hold on to that. Look for our profit. Three month daily. Our target is going to be 130. Target 130. Our stop is going to be uh, 119. Target 130. Let's see, what are you guys doing with that GM? She on the move again? GM. Little pullback. <laughs> she looks good on a daily chart. I mean, she looks great on a daily chart. Today, obviously, she's pulling back a little bit on a one minute, but let's see. T Arca says QCO. What is QCO? Not sure what that is, T Arca. There's no QCO here. Oh, Qcom, okay. Forgot the M. All right, Qcom's looking great. Wow, look at that, 132. Coming off those lows there. This is looking like a nice swing trade. You know, something like the June Expo, look for that 150 target. 
That's a hell of an opportunity. I got to write that one down, actually, on my watch list. Actually, let me just put an alert on because that one looks so good here. We could pull up our alerts and put one here on QCOM. Uh, let me just see what we're looking for here. A move above. Let's say a move above 130. Say a move above 134. Then I could start looking at it really closely and uh, looking for that entry. QCOM 134. Let's see, Amazon. We just had a, a price target hit on Amazon. 310550. I put that on the wrong one, I think, there. Let's see. Tools, alerts. QCOM. There we go. We're set on Qualcomm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for that. If we get that alert on 134 on QCOM, I'll enter into that trade. Nice job, Avilio. Nice. Avilio just broke $25,000. Nice job. That's a big congratulations. He's been having that as his goal, as his target. And there you go. Check it out. $25,254. Congratulations, Avilio. Nice job. Nice job. That's how it's done. Now, just remember, yeah, don't give it back, okay? Do not give it back. No just how disciplined you were getting up there, April make sure you're disciplined enough to keep it in your account. That's the main goal there. But nice job getting that up. Congratulations. I want to see more of that in the trade room there. We should have benchmarks. You know, the 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, 50,000, 100,000, quarter of a million, half a million, and then a million dollars. We should have like prizes each way there. Or like, uh, you know, something like a little challenge or something. Whoever gets there first. Nice job, though. It's nice because when you have challenges like that, I don't know about you guys, but when I do the trade challenge, I am really disciplined at what I get in there. And, you know, I don't know. I think if we push each other to you know, achieve certain limits, I think we could do it as a team. Avilio said he did it by small trades. Semper Fi says he needs that benchmark challenge. Definitely with the smaller trades, absolutely. If you make larger trades, that's all you think about is, oh my God, I have a big trade on. Should I take a loss? Should I get out? You know, and then it really screws with the uh, trader mentality there. Let's see, Dave. I'm Robert Clark. Dave, I'm killing it in my accounts. I'm up uh, $2,383 today.
let's see Apple here. What's Apple doing? She wants to climb there. Dow is up 200, NASDAQ's up 231. We're holding the gains here, just not really climbing. Hate when you get that pop overnight and then all day you're flat. Nothing worse than that. I'd rather climb all day than have that pop overnight. But looking good. Let's see, Apple's Super just League flat gaming, here. Ticker, Looking for a move. Golf, golf shares moving about a buck seventy higher over the last few minutes here. Over the last about fifteen minutes, shares just touching over the eight dollar level. Volume coming into the issue as shares moving over that level. The stock up about forty seven percent here for today's session. That's ticker SLGG. Oh, there comes the breakdown on Apple now. Look at that red candle. You know what's about to go down when you see that happening. What is the XPR doing today? Let's see. Avilio, that one stock you love, Palantir. 
Did you see that? $26.06 right now, up over 5%. That Ford, she really wants to climb. STAF getting a pop. Ford is nearing 13 bucks. Foxtrot. F Inc. Solutions. Oh, look at CCL going there, guys. New highs of the day on CCL up over 3%. FedEx 266. What's Disney at? Let's see Disney. Diz, 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 D I S. Where are you? Let's see. Delta 4857. Where the hell is the Disney at here? D I S. I can't see it on my watch list. Yeah, Disney's not doing a darn thing yet. FDX, looking good. Epping Solutions spiking here, 95 cents. Guys, Visa, did you guys see Visa? Cents now. We are up huge on our Visa trade. We got 31% gain. Remember, we had a, what, $7,000 trade on Visa. She's nearing 227 now on Visa. Who's still in Visa? You guys should still be in that. Let's see. Keep going. I am... I am looking for the 250, Dave. 250 on, on which one? Visa, yeah, absolutely. Visa's gonna get there. Honka, Visa's a good trade. Karen Decker's still in Visa. Karen, what are you doing with your AAL? I was talking to you before, but you weren't here. AAL is looking good. Now see, aren't you glad you waited until you uh, sold those covered calls there? I didn't see, Karen, sorry. Wait until she continues to break out before selling those covered calls, though. You're getting right at, I mean, you're literally right at resistance now. I mean, if you don't see that top right here, we need to break above it. First red candle, obviously, that's the perfect opportunity to sell those covered calls. So if you get a red candle tomorrow, you could easily sell those covered calls. Sell the 30 strike, you know, for the uh, summertime expo. Honka said the V call was too pricey for him. STAF staffing solutions. STAF getting a pop. Here's what I'm doing with that visa trade so far. Take a look. Here's that visa trade right here in the main account. We're up. 30.5% up $1,922.43. And again, that's for the June 18th Expo, the 220 call. We paid uh, $1,260 for it. She's now at $1,640. So today alone, we're up $1,062.50. You know, I'm really looking forward to that $250. That means that'll be worth about $30 a contract. 30 times 5, that'll be fifteen grand there. Not too bad. I'll definitely hold on to that. Let's see what else is moving here. What a day. I want to see CCL continue to break out there. CCL is going to be a great trade. Boeing's up 4%. PayPal's looking good. Chinese antitrust regulators consider. Let's take a look at uh, SPY Papa, here. We'll just watch SPY. I'm in the trades we're in. We're looking good. That's Not going to do anything Bravo else Alpha, just Bravo, yet. Bravo Alpha, Alibaba. Shares of Alibaba pulling back here. Baba pulling back. On BABA, Alibaba. Spies pulling back here, team. S and P futures are dropping here now.
terms of staffing uh, solutions, traders uh, citing a citing a filing from yesterday afternoon that the uh, CEO had acquired 300,000 shares not purchased on STAF Stanley Tango Alpha Fox Drive. Again, Chinese antitrust regulators considering reckoning, uh, leveling a record fine against Alibaba, more than the $975 million levied against Qua. RYB is moving quite a bit. Let me change this view for you guys up top here, top screen, so you can see what's moving. That RYB is moving nicely. Look at that, 499. If I zoom out here on the one month or one year here, I mean, looks in the IC seven dollar target. Look at that fin V all the way down to four bucks. She's going back up to that eight dollars. That looks like a nice chart right there. Doesn't it? Apple's starting to get a little climb again. That's Victor in the hotel. Good thing we sold that VZ. She got destroyed. Where is that Disney? There we go. There's Disney. 196. Not doing too much yet. Let's see, what's Workhorse doing? Workhorse at Dayron said he's up 223% on MRO. MRO. That's a nice one coming off support there as well. I love the gas and oil plays right now. Visa nearing 228, guys. A big breakout on Visa. She wants that 220. I'm telling you, we're going to see Visa at that 250. Where is FedEx here? FDX. There she is. FedEx nearing 268, guys. Wow. What a move today. What a move. Look at that move on FedEx. She's ready for a big run. Bio continues very heavy volume now. Here's a 
FedEx is going to have a big run coming up. Very heavy volume now on ENTX and increasing. Shares now up 275 percent following that earlier press release. Avilio said he has work uh, workhorse shares. Skyjack said he's got a small trade in workhorse. I, I'm telling you guys, this FedEx trade, I think we're going to see this at 275. I think by summertime, FedEx is going to be back up to that 300. I really wish you guys had listened to me on this one. What a heck of a run there. Oh, I could not be any happier, team. We are having a big breakout. Markets are climbing. And uh, we're set up really nice here. We just got to continue to look at those good swing trades. Make sure we take our... Because obviously we don't want to sit in when we have that retracement, right? So we're going to take profits once we reach our targets. And, uh, and then we'll wait either A for a retracement to come back uh, into the trade. Or B, we could look for another trade there. move there let's see i want to see apple start to move now apple's not doing a darn thing yet P-A-V-E, multi-billion dollar infrastructure plan. They want to be paving the roads. Let's see, new all-time highs today on P-A-V-E. This is an infrastructure development ETF. So that's not too bad there. Let's go down the watch list on uh, today one minute, see if we see anything really breaking higher here or continuing that breakout. Natural gas storage. That's coming up at 10:30. It's taking a drawer 
I do start to move. Let's continue to go down the watch list here. Today, one minute. Let's see if Facebook's starting to break out. Jay, look at that. It's up nine bucks today. I bet you Jay's uh, pretty pissed off. He sold that one really early. She looks like she's going to continue to run, though, to 280 to 290. I really like that chart on Facebook here. Let's go down the watch list. That's Facebook. Facebook looks really good, though. Let me see what Jay's saying there. I don't get upset with selling early. I can always buy back. It's the losing I don't like. I agree with you, but I've been selling early, too, on my trades. But Facebook looks good there, Jay. You buying back in, I'd be targeting that 280. 280 resistance area. If we zoom out a little bit more, we have resistance number two, you know, right at about two, I uh, will say 290. So we should hit that 280 on it quick. I'm thinking about jumping in. She's just finally starting to break uh, out there. I like that setup on Facebook. She's up three and a half percent today. Disney's still not doing much. 196.61. Google's having another big run here. She's going to rip higher. Next week, we're going to see that back at 21.50, I bet. Let's see. JPM, BAC. A paycheck trade on which one? Google? That one's expensive for most. If we did that, I'd have to do a spread because most members won't be able to get into a, a trade like that on Google. A paycheck trade would be great with Facebook. It doesn't look bad. Look at that chart on AIG. That looks gorgeous there. Amgen not doing much. Caterpillar. Visa. Man, oh man, that looks Beautiful. Love to see that hit that 250. Just have to be patient and hold on to it. It's my only concern. Facebook looks really good here. Love that setup.
Apple's coming back here a bit, guys. It's nice to see. There goes Apple, 1020 cross, first candle above 1020.50. So looking good. Nice break on, on Apple, guys. Apple trade almost in the green. Nice break out on Apple, guys. Just a little uh, patience it's taken here. Looking good. We are just about green on the Apple trade. Down 10 bucks on it right now.
There we go. We are back in the green on the Apple trade, guys. The Netherlands are going to continue with the AstraZeneca. Min Lee says, Apple's ripping. Are you in it? Min Lee with us on YouTube. The Apple trade. Min Lee. Facebook is looking great. Disney up to 198 now, guys. Big breakout on Disney. Look at that today one minute chart on Disney. What a hell of a breakout here on Disney. Nice run. Let's see what FedEx is doing. FDX. FedEx at 269, guys. Wow. What a run. Let me refresh the main account here. I haven't looked at that in a while. Wow. $7,000 gain in the main account here. Guys, did you guys even see Travago? Look at Travago, TRVG, Microsoft. Wow, what a day. TRVG. Travago is on the run here as well, team. We are up really big today, really big. Futures are continuing to run, continuing to see new highs. FedEx nearing 270, guys. Max vertical spread gain on FedEx. Less than a dollar away. Our BP trades in the green. Apple trades in the green. Apple's taking off. Microsoft. We have a trade on Microsoft. Are you guys in that? The May 19th, 242.50 strike call. What a breakout here, guys. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Love what I'm seeing. Disney's looking good there. Nice continued climb. Love what I'm seeing here, team. Uh, Microsoft is the May Expo. Look at Trivago go here, guys. Another big run here on Trivago. And remember, that was one we picked up the shares. Look at how she's tightly holding that Blue twenty day simple moving average. Oh, you guys are looking at the um, at the other screen there. Let me share my screen. Here's Travago. Look at Travago how she's holding that blue twenty as she continues that climb. I mean that's a really nice climb there on Travago. H U G E F S D Pharma getting a pop here on volume. Hotel Uniform Golf Echo H U. Microsoft trade is for the March nineteenth. Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought it said May there. My contacts are are a little blurry. March nineteenth, two forty two fifty strike call. We are in at a dollar forty six. She's currently at a dollar thirty five. M S F T. Look at the market continue to climb. Loving it. CPNG, what did I want to look at? MSFT, $56 Microsoft to looks ready for a big breakout. I think we're going to see Microsoft back at 245 next week, guys. Definitely think we're going to see Microsoft 245 next week.
Coupang shares priced at thirty-five dollars. Oh. again. Uh, well, guys, I think now, that's going to do it for us in the morning dollars. session. I have to take my uh, grandmother to the airport now. She's heading back to Pennsylvania after being with us for about eleven days. Uh, so, in the near future, going to take her to the airport. Going to come back here, and uh, we will be live this afternoon. Nice job today, guys. Visa's at 227. Disney's continuing to break out there. I mean, all of our trades that we're in are up big. FedEx is nearing that 270. Some volume coming in. I mean, we're looking really good, guys. We're gonna have some big gains going into next week, especially with these ones that are, um, um, you know, June, July Expo here. Let me see. March 19th, vertical spread on Delta. It's Carnival Cruise Line, July 16th, 30 strike call. FedEx, that vertical spread there is going to be big gains. And then our Visa, June 18th, 220 call. We are looking good here, team. So that's going to do it for us here for the morning session. I will see you guys again live in the afternoon. I have to take her to uh, Sanford Airport. And then I'll be back and uh, let's look and see if we can possibly make some day trades. And maybe another swing trade for going into that June Expo. I, I like having those longer term trades there. Because any type of retracement, you have plenty of time until she gets back there. So, good job today, guys. I'll see you guys in the afternoon. If you guys on YouTube want to come join us, make sure you come join us. Go to BreakingChartAlerts.com. Go to Membership Pricing Plans. And as you guys can see down here, trader memberships for the live morning trading session, pro trader, live morning, live afternoon, elite pro trader, you get the morning, the afternoon, the app, the text alerts, and uh, and everything else that goes with it there. So you can save 30% off the yearly membership by typing promo code challenge on top and then click sign up down below. You can do that for the, these don't have the... Uh, the uh, promo code but as you can see from 2500 it brings it down to 1750 and then if you guys wanted to sign up for the pro trader I don't think the challenge should work on that one uh, 250 yep so 250 and then 125 for the trader membership so memberships for any level of traders if you have a small account large account you know Avilio just hit 25 grand today I'm really proud of him and uh, we could help you guys do that as well. So come join us. We'll do what we can to help. If you guys could come join us in the live trade room after, you guys could check out our trades up here, trade alerts, click on that, trade room right here, and then obviously the morning live session, afternoon live session, and then the class sign up. So we're gonna start doing the classes here again now that everything is situated back to normal. I was thinking about doing one tomorrow, Friday actually. Not sure if it's better Friday, the weekend, or a Monday, but you guys let me know. We'll get that done. Alrighty. Heading out now, guys. Uh, I will see you guys in the afternoon. Great job today. And I'll see you around 2-ish, 2.30-ish. Alrighty. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.